Hello, I'm Monique Boonstra. I'm the designer for the lace bubble um, that you can find in the Fine Shetland Lace magazine. And yesterday I designed a, a new one for this year. Um, I also found that some people are having trouble casting on for the lace bobble because of the fine yarn and so many needles. So I thought I'd try to make a video to help you uh, out with that by showing it how I do it. And hopefully that can help you making your own fine lace bobbles. So you need five double pointed needles. I prefer bamboo myself. Usually I have uh, metal needles, but uh, this time I'm using the double pointed because the yarn is very fine and circular, circular needles aren't an option. And uh, the bamboo doesn't uh, tend to fall out of the stitches as quick as metal does because of the weight. Anyway, um, the lace bubble is started at the bottom and um, that means you have to do a cast on and I will show you right away how I do that. So you have some fine yarn, uh, usually uh, with my fine bubbles I use the Jameson & Smith Cobweb Supreme. This is 400 meters per 25 grams. And what I start with is a double a circle around my fingers then the cast on yarn in my left right hand and um, inserting the needle making a knit stitch pulling under that's one the cast on says to make a knit one yarn over four times so I do a yarn over and then another knit through all the loops Let me put that out of the way so you can have less distraction. Um, and then another yarn over and another knit until you have nine loops on your needle. I'm sorry I'm not able to show you how to do it uh, when you are uh, holding the yarn in your left hand. But now there are nine loops yeah focus on my right hand needle two four six eight nine okay then i gently pull on the yarn from the cast on To make the cast on loop smaller it's a bit fiddly but you've only got one needle in your hand so far so it shouldn't be that hard so now there are nine loops very small loops no it's not focusing so I'm Holding it a bit further away. There they are. Okay, and now for the most difficult part. I'm sitting at the table. So that means I have a surface next to my needles. And if the needle tends to fall down, I can put it on the table so it doesn't fall down. Now, first stitches. Knit one round, distributing the, all the stitches over four needles. That means two stitches on each needle, except for the last one, that will be three stitches. So now comes the tricky part. I've got two on this one. I'm holding the needles with my left hand. Then come the next. See what I do with the needle? Keeping it all in my left hand. Locking down the stitches with my index finger. And there's another. I'm holding three needles. I'm holding my pinky in between so they don't get mixed up. The 
previous needle is in front of the other so it won't be in the way when I knit the stitches. There's the second one. Now it becomes a little bit more difficult because now I have to hold them all in the good direction. So the first one needs to go vertical like this. Now I can, this is what I do the whole time, pressing it down with my fingers. So the needles don't go and the stitches are locked on the needle. And now I have to do a bit of a tricky bit because the table is in the way. Holding all the needles down with my index finger and my thumb. It's a bit fiddly. Don't be worried that yarn will break. It's very sturdy once it has a small stitch to hold on to. See? There it goes. There it goes. Hold on. Final stitch. Okay, so that needle is out. Hoppa, there it goes. Hold on. Um, now I have to find out which needle goes where. See, this one needs to go here. No? Yes? Okay. This one is there. That one is there. This one on top, and there you go. See, it's still a bit fiddly. They are still all knitted. Now I have to go to the next round. I have to turn it all around. I take it over with my other hand. There's my cast on yarn. See, there's the tail. And now It looks like this. It doesn't look like much and apparently I've twisted that one so I have to... Yes, that's better. Okay, the last three, st the last needle has four stitches on, uh, three stitches on it and now I have to make sure the others are having three stitches too. So I need to make sure this needle is in front of that one then I knit, because if that needle isn't in front of the first one I'm using, I will make an extra loop, and I don't want that yet. See, I'm holding things. So, that one's gone, drop the needle. Make sure everything is in place. Press it down, take it up from under the work, and take over it for the next quarter. Here's my needle. I have to make sure this one is in front. Work to the tip. You can pull it pretty tight because otherwise it becomes a hole and I don't want that yet. See, okay, it's not uh, very, um, how do you say it, very easy to hold all the needles in place and in the right direction. This one was going over there, so this one is going over here, and now I'm good. So, there's one on top of the other, then I take it over and I come from behind with my left hand and press it all down, and again. Okay. 
pick up the needle see that's already going somewhere I'm at the last uh, the fourth needle I've not used stitch markers yet you need about eight for the new design but that's because it's still there's still not much room for the needles of the stitch marker you can find my pattern for the lace bubble and the new one soon on um, my web shop kantwerk at my shop uh, kantwerk dot my shopify dot com and thank you for watching and i hope to see many lace bubbles so that was round two i hope this was very helpful for you Mwah. <laughs> I will get it right. Um, yeah, I think this is it. Sort of. Anyway, um, so this is the cast on for the lace bubble. I hope um, you now have a bit more courage to knit this one or uh, the one from 2018. Thank you very much for watching. And when you need some help, just ask. I'm an email away. Thank you.